The Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. It's a Happy Day is a weekly devotional designed to inspire believers to find and walk in the joy of the Lord despite life's challenges. Get ready to explore relevant themes that challenge the mundane and the status quo of Christian life. Each devotional will include a time of storytelling, scripture explanation, and obedience points. So join me and others from around the world every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for It Is A Happy Day. Hey, God bless your family. I want to thank you for joining another episode of It's A Happy Day. Listen, we got a lot to talk about on this week. Our subject this week is going to be entitled, Can You Keep a Secret? Can You Keep a Secret? Have you ever had a secret you told somebody and it got out? Everybody knew your business. And I want to say to you today that God has some things that he'd like to share with each of you as we develop a, a closeness with him. And I have so much to say around this subject, but, but this is our daily devotional and not my commentary. We have to save that for another episode. So listen, I want I want to open up with a story, and uh, I read this story about a University of Iowa professor who um, opened up his class when the class first started. He brought in a bag of lemons, and he said to every student, "I want you to take a lemon, and I want you to take it home, and I want you to 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 travel with this lemon all day, all night. I want you to study it." I want you to smell it. I want you to become very familiar with this lemon. And so after about, you know, about three weeks, he asked um, one day as they were coming into class, he said, I want everybody to drop that lemon uh, in this in this in this box. So everybody put their lemon in the box. And after class, he said, now, I want to see how many people can uh, retrieve their lemon out of the box. And it was a study about intimacy. And you know what he found was that uh, most of the students, the majority of the students were able to go back to the box and pick their exact lemon out of the box. And this says a lot to us is that when we spend time with something, we become familiar with that thing. And that's what I want to talk to you about today is about uh, developing that, that closeness with God which in, in turn, we become close to ourselves, like we, God reveals some secrets to us. And so I want to ask you, are you in a position where God can share secrets with you? Our scripture that we, we always like to say, well, you know, the scripture guide us in a psalm. I want you to turn to the 25th Psalm, verse 14, and I'm going to read this scripture in a number of different verses or uh, versions, rather, and... In the ESV, it reads, the Lord confides in those who fear him, who respect, honor, revere him. He makes his covenant known to them. Like there's a closeness, there's a relationship. And then the New Living Translation, it says, the Lord is a friend to those who fear him. He teaches them his covenant. And the last version, the friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him and he makes known to them his statues. And so we see here, when we look at this and peel it back, the picture is two friends that are sitting on the couch and they're sharing their heart. That's the Hebrew picture here. So I want you to imagine that God is like inviting you this week on like on the couch, so to speak, and saying, listen, I've got some secrets I want to share with you about your life and about the world that you live in. I remember some time ago I was holding a healing service and uh, a lady came to, uh, she came forward for prayer. As she came forward for prayer, like on the inside of my, like, like inside of my head, I could hear like the Lord talking to me. And as she was walking forward, he started talking to me about this woman's father and how she was so devastated by his passing. I had never seen this lady before. I'd never talked to her. No one told me anything. And I was like, I was like, I was tearing up as God was sharing this to me. And so I finally, when she got, you know, in front of me, I said, you know what? I said, um, I said, I feel your heart. 
and I began to I began to share with her what God shared with me. And she received such breakthrough and such healing on that day. And I, I truly believe that as we are members of the same body, that God's got secrets that he wants to share for our healing and for our deliverance and for our moving forward uh, in our lives. And so I want you to think about this in Psalm in this, in this amazing psalm, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. God favors those who fear him. He uh, blesses them with secrets and, and confidential information as we commune with him. And he comes to them and makes his, his he, he becomes close to us as we put time aside to say, Lord, I'm on the sofa, I'm on the couch, I'm here in this special place and my ears and my heart is open. So how can you begin to keep secrets? Let me tell you, share with God this week secrets and things that you've never told anybody. I said previously that when we are in relationships of love and commitment, one of the things that brings us close together is when we share our secrets. I want you to get serious this week in developing intimacy with God and watch God share his secrets with you. May God bless you, and I'll see you on day number two. Can you keep a secret? And remember, it's a happy day.